Hello everybody, in this uh, short continuing from the last lesson building our Lego brick geometry uh, I was thinking uh, what if we could um, apply some forces onto our um, Lego bricks so um, in this case I decided to use uh, some volume simulation to affect uh, our uh, geometry so here a simple uh, um, volume simulation setup um, and uh, um, there's some animation which uh, I have only uh, um, my simulation uh, activated uh, on frame 5 okay it's sort of an explosion and also I've used uh, uh, a switch node to uh, also affect uh, my simulation. Okay, and uh, here's a setup I made actually. Uh, Two setups. One is uh, using uh, volume advection onto the RPD geometry, and the second one is the uh, particle advection. Um, so here's the setup and um, it's a very simple setup so here I have my uh, pop advect by volume known and I'm directing uh, pointing it to the smoke output then I'm adding a velocity by 2 and velocity blend so I could just uh, stop affecting my uh, geometry uh, pretty fast Uh, so they are uh, being affected uh, by this volume um, and quickly um, uh, lose that energy and just uh, fall down which in my opinion uh, looks uh, natural so here's the rigid body setup Yes, and also here I am um, activating my gravity from frame 12. So um, if, it, it, if it will be on a zero, so it start to fall down, which uh, uh, I want it to be uh, activated uh, later. So uh, here I have the simulation and afterwards the gravity will be activated. Yeah, and uh, the same thing with the uh, uh, particles. If I just here's the particles, I'm pointing to my proxy geometry as an RPT uh, uh, situation, and here I'm using uh, the same uh, settings. And afterwards, I also have my gravity uh, with some uh, turbulence, and I'm activating it on frame 12. And I'm also adding um, a, a spin attribute. Uh, uh, I, I want them to spin by. Uh, uh, while while moving um, and uh, also I um, add some expression so I wanted them to spin faster while force is uh, stronger and some random ID just to have some random spinning
right here and just leave it as it is. And I'm using some pop interact uh, just to keep uh, the particles uh, separation. In some cases, uh, I probably have to uh, increase that value. Yes, and um, in the end, I'm using a pop collision behavior to stop. So after they collide with the ground, they will stop. And here we're not seeing them uh, spinning, but if I go, uh, like here I have uh, two top uh, imports. So here I'm uh, using uh, a really packed object and here I'm using a pop object. Uh, yes, here, uh, here are the particles and so we can see they spin and also when they fall down they stick uh, on the ground but uh, I'd like to uh, 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 stick uh, on the ground in the, in the uh, y direction so they could be um, flat to the surface oriented so here I'm copying some uh, attributes to have uh, my uh, my particles. If I just activate it, so I could uh, match uh, the initial geometry. Okay, and yes. Um, this I'm copying uh, attributes name, color, and p scale. And uh, in the, this uh, operation, I'm trying to, uh, if I, for example, use it this way, and after the simulation, we we'll see our particles just stick uh, in the random direction which may be okay in some situations, but uh, uh, I'd like to them uh, to look uh, flat on the ground. And here I'm using a uh, time shift. Uh, it's some, uh, it's an end over simulation and I'm adding some normals and um, normals and up vector and here I'm using a look at attribute uh, to um, create an orientation uh, orient attribute so here you see um, orient attribute are looking upwards and here I'm using uh, attribute transfer so when our particle spinning and get closer to our end uh, points, they just uh, copy that orient attribute, which I use later. Um, you can also use, if you have some specific uh, uh, landscape, uh, you can use uh, normals of, of the landscape and also uh, transfer those uh, normals um, as an orientation value to your partic partic particles. Um, So um, here is two methods uh, you can actually affect your geometry. Uh, in, uh, in an interesting way, uh, from here you can actually add some more forces, uh, create your, your own uh, uh, volume type uh, uh, velocities and uh, have some uh, interesting um, uh, 
simulations or transitions. So uh, this is all I want to say in this lesson. I hope you liked the tutorial and I see you in the next lessons. Goodbye.